All right, so the first part of this question is, if we change 1200 to 1560, what percent of a change is this? Well, that's definitely an increase, but what percent is? We will see that there are two ways to approach this. Probably the most straightforward one is to say, okay, well, what's the difference? If we subtract 1200 from 1560, we get the change, which is in this case 360. And so this is the change. So we always compare to whatever was earlier, not the bigger, not the, not the smaller, whatever was earlier. So earlier was 1200. So we're going to answer this if we just answer the following question. 360 is what percent of 1200? Because that would be the change expressed as a percentage of 1200. So this is a type 2 percent problem is is fraction times of. So 360 is the is. The of is 1200, and then what percentage, that's the same as what fraction, except for we, we want the fraction with the denominator of 100. Let's just hope for the best, but the fraction is x. As always, is is fraction times of, and so the is number is 360. Uh, the fraction is x, and the of number is 1200. And so we have again a one-step equation to solve for x. We, we will divide both sides by 1200. And so then we get that x is... 360 divided by 1200 and then remember we don't want to scale this down to lowest terms as a reduced fraction we wanted something over 100 and we got lucky because 1200 is a multiple of 100 it's 12 times 100 so we will get a denominator of 100 if you just divide upstairs and downstairs by 12 so 360 divided by 12 is 30 Going from 1,200 to 1,500 is a 30% increase. Okay, so that was the first part. The second part of the question is, 1,560 is what percent of 1,200? So this is again a type 2 problem, where is, is 1,560, the fraction is again x, and the of is 1,200. So then, is, is fraction times of, will become, is, is 1,560, the fraction is x, and the of number is 1200. To solve for x, we divide both sides by whatever is multiplying x. And so x is 1560 divided by 1200. And remember, we need a percentage. So we're not going for lowest terms, we're going for a 100 in the denominator. So what we have to do is divide 1560 by 12. And our answer is that 1560 is 130% of 1,200. Basically, we solved the same question twice. So in the first one, we subtracted, we got the change, and we compared it to 1,200, and we found it that it's 30%. In the second method, we just said the resulting quantity is what percent of 1,200, and we found that it's 130%. And now comes the subtraction. 130% minus 100%, the change is 30%. And in both cases, there was a subtraction and a person problem. The question is, what do we do first? Thank you for watching.